this is the span this will be the ild okay a b now there is this loading eighty eighty two hundred one eighty by n one twenty so this two uh, parameters has to be analyzed for absolute bending moment so absolute bending moment occurs when let me take into account of this load a resultant load i can calculate the resultant load r which is equal to the sum of all load 80 plus 80 plus 200 into uh, 180 plus 120 so 660 is the resulting a uh, resultant load that is acting vertically upward so this load should act at some distance x bar okay so at x bar distance this will be acting how to calculate x bar then so take moment about this point taking moment about this point we know this distance 2 meter 3 meter 3 me 2 meter and this 3 meter so x bar okay we have to find this so taking moment about this point m80 is equal to 0 taking anti clockwise as positive so this 80 multiply by 2 clockwise positive so 200 multiply by 5 plus 180 multiply by 2357 plus 120 multiply by 10 minus resultant force acting r into x bar is equal to 0 so x bar can be calculated 80 into 2 plus 200 into 5 plus 180 into 7 plus 120 into 10 okay this is the value of this now dividing by this value which is 660 divided by 660 5.48 meter so this distance is equal to 5.48 meter the resultant load is acting at 5.48 from the 80 kN point load so 5.48 meter means 2 plus 3 so the resultant is acting in this section so zooming into that that is 200 and 180 okay continuing this to this portion so this being 5 and 5.48 so it will be acting at uh, resultant r and this distance will be 0 0.48 5.48 minus 5 so 0 0.48 this distance okay and this distance being 2 meter so 2 minus 4.48 1.52 meter now which of the load will cause maximum or that is absolute bending moment okay among these two load one will be providing maximum bending moment and the resultant force or the load near to the resultant force will cause maximum absolute bending moment okay so that is 200 kN is responsible for maximum bending moment you can cross check or you can just verify through the process we have done here by providing that logical uh, comparison from for left hand side and right hand side so 200 kilo newton will be giving the maximum bending moment now the next step is to consider a point okay to consider a point in this span so let me draw this span again a b consider a point d at the mid span span that is 12 meter from a okay and this d point should be at the equidistance from the resultant force okay from the resultant force and the force which will induce maximum bending moment so this d point okay and it is at the mid of the load responsible for maximum bending moment and the resultant force so this being as 
zero point two four that is zero point four eight divided by two. Okay, so at a distance of zero point two four. Okay, at a distance of zero point two four. 200 kilo newton will be acting at which maximum bending moment occurs so okay so at this point 200 kilo newton load will be acting and then as usual at 3 meter 180 kilo newton will be acting sorry at 2 meter at 3 meter uh, 120 kilo newton will be acting at 3 meter 80 kN will be acting and 2 meter 80 kN will be acting then we have to find the perpendicular distance and the difference is that now the distance from left support to the maximum point is not 12 it is 12 minus 0 0.24 because up to D it is 12 and up to maximum bending moment maximum magnitude of ILD it is 12 minus 0 0.24 that is 11.76 meter and the remaining part will be 24 minus 11.76 that is 12.24 meter okay so this wing uh, y0 y1 y2 y3 and y4 y0 is equal to as usual AB by L actually this is uh, a l minus x by l okay in the formula form so a being 11.76 multiplied by 12.24 divided by length being 24 5.99 that is equal to 6 similarly you can calculate y1 which is equal to 6 divided by 11.76 because the span is now 11.76 multiply by y1 uh, sorry mul uh, multiply by the span of this triangle which is equal to 11.76 minus this portion which is equal to 3 meter so 11.76 minus 3 8.76 so 6 multiply divided by 11.76 multiply by 8.76 4.46 y2 is equal to 6 by 11.76 multiply by this distance 11.76 minus 5 that is 6.76 6 multiply by 6.76 divided by 11.76 this being 3.44 y3 y3 also can be calculated okay y3 for y3 we have uh, the 12.24 span okay you have to be careful in that 6 divided by 12.24 multiply by this distance okay which is equal to 12.24 uh, minus this distance that is 2 meter so 10.24 okay 10.24 just multiply it 6 into 10.24 divided by 12.24 so you get 5.01 and finally y4 is equal to uh, y4 is equal to 6 by 12.24 multiply by this distance which is equal to 12.24 minus 5 this is equal to 3.55 so with all this value we can calculate the maximum bending moment now that is absolute bending moment so absolute bending moment is equal to 80 okay let me write 80 multiply by y2 that is 3.44 plus 80 multiply by y1 that is 4.46 plus uh, 200 multiply by this that is equal to 6 plus 180 multiply by y3 that is equal to 5.01 plus y4 is 120 multiplied by one y4 that is 3.55 3.44 80 multiplied by 3.44 plus 18 to 4 
0.46 plus 200 into 6 plus 180 into 5.01 plus 120 into 3.55 we get 3.159 okay so this is the maximum bending moment 3.159 0.8 kilonewton meter which is the required maximum bending moment so in this way you can calculate the absolute bending moment in the beam okay so one thing you have to make sure that you calculate the resultant uh, force and the resultant distance at which the resultant load will be acting and uh, the point D that is will be acting at the midi span of the beam uh, and the point D will be at equidistance from the load that will induce maximum moment and the resultant load okay so this is the way how we can calculate maximum bending moment absolute bending moment shear force that is positive shear force negative shear force okay for a simply supported beam Please do subscribe and if you have any confusion do comment and uh, if I have made any mistake please let me know in the comment section.